So inside your box, you're going to have your focus motor assembly. Your cover plates, there are two. One for the six to nine and a quarter use on your Rasa or SCT edge. You have a 11 and 14 inch plate adapter. Also included is going to be your adapter sleeve along with your adapter sleeve screw and a set screw. Kit also comes with an auxiliary cable and a hex key, a wrench, and a screwdriver for installation. To make installation a breeze, go ahead and have your telescope mounted onto your mount with the optical window pointed to the ground and the focuser up towards the top. Step one, remove the rubber cover from the telescope's focuser knob. If you cannot simply pull it off, use a flathead screwdriver or another tool in order to pry the rubber cover off. Use caution when lifting it up, it should come off rather easily. Next, we want to loosen and remove the three screws on the cover plate of the focuser on your scope. Be sure to save your screws because you're going to be using them again when you put the new plate on. Next, carefully remove the cover plate from the scope. Identify which of the two supplied cover plates is for your size optical tube. You're going to want to orient the new orange cover plate to your size optical tube as shown in the figures in your directions. For the curved part for 6 and 7 inch tubes, you want the curve towards the outside of the scope. For 8, 9 and a quarter, you want this turned to the inside. Next, we're going to reuse the three screws that were previously removed to install the new orange cover plate in place of the old one. Again, we recommend first placing the telescope tube in a vertical position, as this will prevent any sagging due to gravity before the screws are tightened. Install the three cover plate mounting screws loosely and be sure not to fully tighten. Line up your screw holes here, here, and here. Again, remember not to fully tighten just yet. While the cover plate can still move around slightly, Make sure that the central hole in the cover plate is concentric with the brass cylinder of the focuser knob. Be sure that you keep the brass cylinder of the focuser knob centered relative to the inner diameter of the cover plate. When tightening, be sure that you follow a triangular pattern all the way around as you tighten the screws down. This will require two or three passes, but be sure not to over tighten the screws. This could cause the focuser bearing to bind. The screw should be tight enough to prevent any lateral movement of the focuser knob, but not so tight that it binds. The cover plate must install flat against the telescope's rear cell without tilting in any direction. Check to make sure the focuser knob cannot move when applying side pressure to it. If the focuser knob can move, then the brass cylinder will need to be recentered as we did previously and your screws will need to be tightened a little bit more. This is a very important step as it will ensure that the focus motor will install straight and won't bind and become inoperable. However, do not over tighten the screws. Rotate the focuser knob a couple of rotations in each direction to make sure it moves smoothly and does not bind. If it does bind, you'll have to repeat the previous steps. 
Next, grab your focus mode. Check to see if the arrow indicator on the motor housing is pointing within the range marking on the rear of the motor coupling. If it isn't, rotate the motor coupling using the supplied wrench as shown until the arrow points within the range. This allows access to the motor coupling's clamping screw after the motor is installed on the focuser. Loosen the focus motor's clamping screw just a few turns using the supplied hex key. For 6 inch through 9 and a quarter telescopes only, install the adapter sleeve into the focus motor. Use the supplied adapter sleeve screw to secure the sleeve. For 6 inch through 9 and a quarter telescopes only, install the set screw into the threaded hole in the focus motor's clamping collar using the supplied hex key. Do not tighten the set screw just yet, only thread it in a few turns. Now place the focus motor onto the brass focuser knob. Be sure to orient the motor, making sure that the two captive screws in the focus motor, line up with two holes in the orange cover plate, as shown. Slide the focuser motor onto the focuser knob until the two attachment posts on the face of the motor are flat against the cover plate. Make sure that there are no air gaps between the cover plate and the two attachment posts on the focus motor. It must be seated flat. Tighten the two captive screws on the motor to the corresponding threaded holes on the cover plate using the supplied hex key. Again, first loosely connect the screws to the cover plate then alternate tightening each screw by a small amount until the focus motor cannot move or wiggle and is solid. Again, do not over tighten the screws. For six to nine and a quarter telescopes only, tighten the set screw that was installed earlier. If you need to rotate the motor coupling to gain better access to the set screw, you can use the wrench again to rotate it. Tighten the focus motor's clamping screw using the hex key until fully tightened. Remember to tighten the screw snugly, but attempting to use full force on the wrench may strip the hex socket in the screw head. To power the focus motor, you can use this Lestron computerized mount. Connect the auxiliary port on the focus motor to an auxiliary port on the mount using the supplied cable. You can also use a USB 3 port or a USB 2 port that provides at least 900 milliamps. Connect the focus motor with a USB A to B cable, which is not included. Be sure you use a high quality cable or the motor may not receive enough power. You can also use a DC power source able to supply at least one amp. Connect the power source to a 12 volt DC jack on the focus motor using a 5.5 millimeter to 2.1 plug that is tip positive.
Now let's get the software. Go to Celestron.com, type in Motor Focuser, and then select Focus Motor for SCT and Edge HD. Scroll down to Support and Downloads, and select Focuser as COM Driver. Next, select Focuser Utility. And then select Celestron Focuser Utility again. This will load the Focuser Utility program, which you can use to connect directly to your Focuser. Go back an arrow, and then select on USB ASCOM Driver. You can select 1.2 or 1.3 EXE, the latter being the most recent. Once open, go ahead and hit select or I accept. Next and finish. You can also find the user instruction manual here which may be helpful in order for setting up and programming. Calibrate your focuser, go to your ASCOM Diagnostics, then go to Choose Device. Use your pull down, select Focuser, and then choose. Select your Celestron Focuser, and then go into Properties. On Properties, click on Calibrate. Click Connect and then click on Begin. At this point, you should be hearing the focuser turning first in one direction, slowing, stopping, and then reversing. It might take a few minutes in order for it to complete, and once it's done, you'll be told. And now, you're done.